Cockridge Farm. I am so glad that you're here today. I have a great treat for you. I am partnering with my friend Catherine from September Vintage. She has a website chock full of vintage china and she loves to mix and match it. So today I am going to show you 10 tablescapes using the china from September Vintage and show you how easy it is to mix and match. I got three different plates from Catherine. I got a dinner plate with the blue rim and florals in the middle, the matching salad plate, and another salad plate. It's a white plate with detail around the edges and florals in the middle. On this tablescape, you will see that each place setting has one or two of those plates in each. And you will see how easy it is to make a beautiful place setting with mix and match china. Come on, let's go. For this table setting, I started with my white charger. I topped it with a white cabbage plate, then a delicate white dinner plate, a pretty blue and white plate with florals and birds, and topped it off with a salad plate from September Vintage. For this table setting, I used the same white charger. I'm using my gold rimmed china dinner plate, topping it with a delicate smaller dinner plate. And this salad plate brings in a little bit of greenery and gold. And then I top it off with the salad plate. I love that this table setting is a great mixture of both casual and refined. For this tablescape, I started with a woven brass charger and topped it with a white cabbage plate, the blue rimmed dinner plate from September Vintage, a lacy salad plate, the matching salad plate from September Vintage, and topped it with a white cabbage bowl. For this table setting, I started with a fun grass mat as my placemat. I'm using a green cabbage charger. I'm topping it with a dinner plate with some beautiful pink floral detail. Then a gold rimmed salad plate with also some beautiful detail. And topping it with my salad plate from September Vintage. I really love this place setting. I think that it would be perfect for a garden party or a bridal shower or baby shower. I started this place setting with my green cabbage charger plate. I topped it with a blue rimmed china from September Vintage. I topped it with a gold rimmed floral salad plate. Topped that with my gold rimmed bread plate. And this has just dainty green detail that is just lovely. And then I finished it off with a very small cabbage plate. This is a fun, simple, and elegant place setting as well. I started the place setting with the grass placemat. I topped it with my gold rimmed china. Then I have the blue rimmed china from September Vintage, a white cabbage plate, and topped it off with the salad plate from September Vintage. I love the mix of blues in this tablescape. And remember, when you're mixing and matching china, the beauty is that it's nothing is perfect. And that's what adds just the beautiful character. For this tablescape, I started with a blue charger rimmed in gold. 
Then I added my gold rimmed china. I topped it off with a dinner plate from September Vintage. Then I placed on a salad plate with gold detail. I topped it off with the matching salad plate from September Vintage and added just a tiny dainty white bowl on top. Isn't this a lovely table setting? I started this table setting with the white charger. I added my green cabbage charger plate and then the lovely blue rimmed china from September Vintage. I topped that with a white cabbage salad plate. Then I placed the matching blue rimmed china from September Vintage and topped it off with a sweet little green cabbage bowl. For this table setting, I played up the pinks in each of the dishes. I started with a woven grass placemat, added a pink charger with gold rim. I'm using a china dinner plate with a gold rim and some pink flowers in it. Then I am adding a green china salad plate and I topped it off with the lovely salad plate from September Vintage. For this table setting, I started with a gold charger and I topped it with my white cabbage plate. Then I used the lovely blue china from September Vintage, a white cabbage salad plate, and I topped it off with the matching blue rim china from September Vintage. There were several things that I did on each table setting that was consistent so that all 10 of them had a unified feel to it. The first thing I did is they all had the same white linen napkin, napkin ring, and green ring. They had the same vintage silverware and they have the same glassware. This makes the whole tablescape feel like it all belongs together. I also kept a pretty neutral color scheme within the china to make sure that one tablescape didn't really stand out amongst the others. I sure hope that you enjoyed this video on how to mix and match china. And that's it. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I always enjoy our time together. Please follow me on facebook.com slash Peacock Ridge Farm, on Instagram at Peacock Ridge, on Pinterest and YouTube. Blessings to you.